There we go. I see cupcake. In a hoodie, is it cold? What's what's the Hang on, I gotta go screw up my settings. Okay. I finally uh finally installed the newest update and now everything is goofy as far as I can tell. Okay, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeti stereo microphone. I have no idea what's going on. You can hear me all right, right? Yep. Okay. Let me pop you out. Facing. Do it. No. There we go. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Super Happy Fun Jabbertron Tea Party Podcast with Kiki and Cupcake. Are you excited? I'm excited. I know you can't tell by my lack of inflection, but I am honestly excited. Enjoy the show. What are we drinking wow, today? What's up? what's up? What are we drinking today? Um, what is this? This is low carb monster mixed with water. Mmm. I have no idea what that tastes like. <laughs> uh, it's the black, the black cat. See, like the original diet monster where it was like 30 calories a serving. It wasn't sugar free. Mm. Of course, I've got some sort of beer. Right. I have tea. Yay! Is it cold where you are? Um, it's 90 out, so the air has been running continuously since yesterday. Oh, okay. Um, so the basement, I have, all the vents are closed, but because the air is basically running nonstop to keep the upper house cool, the downstairs is actually a little chilly. I mean, also, I'm in shorts, so... Without some sort of extra layer on my upper body, it actually I actually get a little chilly. Poor cupcake. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, there's also... Well, actually, not so bad. Earlier it was like... Pfft, my hair was just like everywhere. <laughs> now it's just kind of messy. I had to actually have the hood up when I was talking with Taz, because otherwise the hair was just like coming down in my face. How is Taz? Our, our friend, Taz? Yes. Right. How is Taz? Oh, how is, I think you said, who is Taz? I was like, what? You know who Taz is? You've been talking to him for months. He's all right. <laughs> we were doing an escape the room map in VR chat, and we feel like Neanderthals. It's way above our skill level. Like, we couldn't figure out the puzzle. So after, like, half an hour of being stuck in room two of I don't even know how many we just said screw it he's like I'm going to bed I'm like that's fine because <laughs> it's 10 p.m. where he is hmm yeah and I've literally done nothing today such a slug um uh, I have slept in because I was falling asleep and then I had my Ooh. therapy session and now I'm talking to you yay <laughs> Oh, you look tired. Uh, I sleep like garbage. Like what? You like garbage. Oh. Well, why don't we talk about... What is that show called? The one with the slime? Oh, so I was reincarnated as a slime? Yes. Yeah, I just finished it today. It's it's interesting. Um, you know, average average Japanese salaryman is reincarnated in another world, except he's reincarnated as a slime with a whole bunch of special abilities. Shenanigans ensue. It's one of those. What do you call it? Like the the character is or the you know, it's the easy kind where the character is massively OP. So it's kind of not, not a hero worship. What am I trying to say? 
Sorry, I'm no help. No, I know. I, I can't think of what the word I want. I'm getting what you're saying, but I don't know what... Power fantasy. Doing. There you it's go. It's a power fantasy. Okay. Because he's basically unstoppable. And it's not like a funny deconstruction like One Punch Man where he's like, I'm so powerful that everybody I fight dies in one shot. Oh. And he's super mad about it because he wants a challenge. And the, the way you were explaining it before sounded rather interesting because I sort of given it a pass before because I, right. I, I had heard that it was a lot of fan service. There is a lot of fan service, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> Not initially, but as he, <laughs> as he builds up followers, there's a lot of lady female followers that like are bodacious. So there's a lot. And like a couple of the characters just dress really skimpy just in general. Um, yeah, I mean, like the only thing that really, really amused me was the, the scene where he takes human form and it's genderless and he's trying to figure it out. And he's like, am I a dude? Am I a girl? Slimes are genderless, so what am I? And it it turns out that he's just, like, a generalized asexual humanoid. Or he's a human, but he's just, like, humanoid in shape. Oof, and that's not a spoiler, because it's about ten minutes out of the entire, like, 46 episodes, season one. See, that sounds very interesting to watch. Right. Because he, like, experiments. Because he's like, wait, like can I take a different human form and like the there's a there's a thing called great sage that's with him that's like a AI that helps him and it's like telling him like well yeah I mean you can take you're a slime you can take whatever form you want once you've consumed a creature from that species you can basically be anything from that species so he's playing around with it and it's like 10 minutes and then he's they just drop it entirely and it's just his normal like humanoid slime form that he takes the rest of the series i want to say that's like seven or eight episodes into like the 20 sub episodes that season one is made up of because he spends like the rest of season one as a human like almost all the time very rarely like leaves that form except when he's sleeping at which point he's a slime or when he wants somebody to carry him, he'll, like, the female characters will carry him around like a plushie. Yeah, I'd do that. Right. <laughs> yeah, and then you started watching, um, which card capture movie? Ah, uh, the first one. I got, like, I don't know, like, 20 minutes in. Hmm. It's, yeah. it's, the, the English dub is so bad. <laughs> I, re- I mean, I've seen it before. It's not like... I'm I'm not, like, going into it blind. I remember it being... I, I, I had forgotten how bad the U.S. dub of it is until I watched it and then remembered that there is no international uncut dub of, of uh, movie one. I'm like, why why does Kiro sound like Corey Haim? Is he played or by Corey Or it might have been the other Corey... Not Corey Haim. What, what's the what's the other Corey Feldman? No. Because there were the two Corys from the eighties. It was like Corey Haim and Corey. Yeah, Feldman. Okay, it was. It's whatever. It's whatever one did a whole bunch of voice acting in the nineties. That's who it sounds like, to me. Was it Corey Feldman? I don't think so. At least it's not listed on his Wikipedia page. Maybe it was Corey Haim. No, it is. It is. It is Corey Feldman. Okay. Because the character, the guy who voices Heroes Bureaus, reminds me of Corey Corey Feldman doing Donatello and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what I always remember him from. So it wasn't what I thought it was, but that's who did it? did voice Heroes. Someone on this private. Yeah, Matt Hill with a with a bad New York accent. That's okay. why he sounds so like goofy. He's known for let's I feel like he did Nkatsu. We have Sonata and Running Warriors. Yeah, I guess he really wasn't in a lot. Take it back. 
Hmm. I was like, oh yeah, he's in a bunch of stuff. No, he wasn't. <laughs> it's not even, I don't think he's even active. Oh, he's best known for being the voice of Ed and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I see that. I can see that. Yeah. So I've been watching BNA, which stands for Brand oh, New Animal. It's great. I like what? when the dub comes out, you should watch it. It's not that long. It's only 12 episodes. I haven't finished it. I still have four episodes to go. Right. But so far, so good. Well, that's good. Great animation, great characters, great plot. Right. I've heard good things about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's got a great lead right. you can uh, I really identify with. She doesn't understand what's going on with herself. Right. She's a teenage girl who's... Essentially, life has been up... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uprooted. Upended. Uprooted. Upended. Thank you. Uh, by this thing that has happened to her, and now she has to live in an entire different city because of it. And all she wants to do is be able to go back to the way it was before. Right. And it deals a lot with being different, being ostracized, stuff like that. Mm hmm but otherwise, I have been a lazy get when it comes to watching stuff. Same. Mostly just been watching YouTube. Right. And then I was away for three days in the mm -hmm. land of no internet. Right. <laughs> Out there in the wilderness. Yes. I saw a deer. Wow. It was too dark to get a picture, but... Right. Apparently, the deers are very used to humans there and go into the camps at night and steal food. Right. But I had fun. Well, that's good. And then I came home and was like, oh shit, I start school today. Huzzah! <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. Oh yeah, so outrageous. Mm -hmm. And did you hear that they're going to bring back Beavis and Butthead? Oh, well, that's fun. They'll be on um, Comedy Central, not MTV, because... Well, they're both Viacom channels, so it's not yeah. like a shock. I kind of feel like they should bring back, uh, or do a season of Futurama. But I don't think they could do it justice at this point, so... I don't know. I really like the way it ended. But maybe they could do, like, another movie? That'd be good. Yeah. I'd like some more Futurama, because The Simpsons has gotten kind of... Bland and cliche. Right, yeah, they've gone for so long that it's like... I kind of hate to say it, but when they were talking about, like, well, we're not going to have the, you know, the minority characters will no longer be voiced by the white actors. It's like, maybe it's time just to kill it. You've... You've gone on long enough that something that was socially acceptable when you started is no longer socially acceptable. So just, just call it a day. It 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 still makes too much money. Everybody fucking watches it still. Right. It's got so much momentum at this point. It can never die. Yeah, I am glad that a lot of shows have have, have are mm, stupid mouth are taking the we should have you know. Minority right. actors play minority characters. Right. I mean, even Family Guy. I mean, is some doing of it. the, some of the stuff were like The Simpsons were like, they're they're going to they're going to bring back a poo, but they're going to have somebody else voice him. I'm like, just just let the character die. Like what? I mean, like I didn't think he was a bad stereotype or anything, but like, they got so much flack for it. It was like you know what just. You've had other characters written out. Just let it go. Yeah. I'd love to do something interesting with him. Mm hmm I mean, they could easily switch out the Quickie Mart with something else. We have the Quickie Mart run by Muslims now. That would be interesting. I mean, we already sensitive. had the episode where he was afraid that a family was terrorists, and then he blew up right. a bridge. 
Right. I mean, not that the show hasn't done the same story over and over again. Right. At some point, you've you've gone for so long that there's no longer anything left to say. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's... Apu could sell the store to somebody else. And they could bring in a new character and bring in some life to the show. Or even, nah. or even put an old character in that position. It's a Disney property. Nothing can change. I know. Too dangerous. Not going to make any money that way. And that's part of the problem now is that... Because now it's a Disney property, it can never change. Ever. Yeah. It'll go on forever and ever until it stops making money, that is. But right. it'll be the same old. Right. Ooh, pardon. And my dumbass will continue to watch it just because I want right. to see how bad it becomes. Right. It's a, it's, a, it's a train wreck. You can't look away. Mm hmm It's just kind of one of those things at this point. It's like, it's like Family Guy in South Park are the same way now. But they could never die because they're just so ingrained into American culture now. I mean, to some extent, I feel like Family Guy could go away and there wouldn't be a, like, a huge loss. But South Park is, like, literally now woven into U.S. society. Yeah. I, I've i given up watching Family Guy. It just... Right. I don't care how dumb it is. Because it's really right. dumb. And I, right. don't, I don't like watching dumb. It was funny when you were in high school. Now it's kind of like, okay. Yeah, you look back and you're like, that wasn't that funny. Right. I, I do appreciate American Dad. That became right. a really good show. That became topical, which is what Family Guy never did. Mm hmm I mean, I had this I had the same argument with, or same discussion on Star Trek with Mish a couple nights ago. Last night, I remember when it was. But it was like, I don't think they, I don't think the current showrunners know what to do with Star Trek at this point. Because the franchise has been going for so long that the people who originally were writing it really, you know, trying to be topical and deal with issues in society in a science, like, uh, with the auspice of science fiction, that the new people are like, it's an action show, you know, explosions. Yeah. I haven't seen, except for the movies, actually, I haven't seen the, la the last movie, uh, any right. of the new shows. I've, I've been really meaning to watch Picard. But I haven't gotten around to it. I believe I believe one of my friends described Picard as, what if we did Firefly, but in the Star Trek universe? Well, that sounds like something I want to watch. <laughs> right. I believe the, the entire story arc of the... that at least the first season, I don't know if they're going to do another one, is, was it wrong to try to recreate data, or, like, what data was on a, on a mass production level? Basically, the premise of the entire season. They're that, dealing with that, that whole scenario. That sounds horrifying. Remember that episode from, like, season three, where that... Sci Federation scientist says he wants to disassemble Data so he can learn how to make make more of him. Vaguely. And they have that whole court case, and they make Riker be the prosecutor. And then Picard slash Patrick Stewart has this big speech about what is justice, what it mean, what it means to be just, and how we're no better. We're no better than than our ancestors if we can't we can't adhere to the concept of justice uniformly, blah blah blah. There's a basic argument the basic argument boils down to is is a sentient is a sentient automaton a person or is he a toaster? Yeah. And there's this they re basically readdress it on a much heavier level you know, given there's been 30 years since that episode, and our concept of what AI is has really evolved. Smart computing networks are much less thing of science fiction today, although AI is still pretty much... AI at that level is still science fiction. 
Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't understand AI still, but it's not. Right. It's 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 vaguely a baby right now. Right. But not actually a baby. Right. Because it 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 can only think in in such a small way. Right. What what will make what will make AI human is when it can make. Uh, it's, the old, it's the old line from Terminator. My CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer, which basically means that he can learn from experience. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I've, I've heard good things about Picard. I have heard that it is, you know, not Star Trek in the traditional sense, but it's still a good show. Well, I, I hope love, it I is. Love what they, I love what they did to try to hide the fact that that Fritz Spiner is a droopy old man. Yeah. With the makeup. Oh, makeup. What wonderful things you can do. Sort of. <laughs> It's very, it's very clear that he has like full face prosthetic this time around because he's he's a puffy looking dude in Picard. You see him in the first like four seasons of actually the whole entire run of the original TNG. He's much thinner face, and they write it off as it being it's it's a different android that he's inhabiting the body of. It's like the reality is Brit Spiner is an old fat guy, and there's no good way to hide that. I mean, how? Brent Spiner, I think, is 70? Maybe? No, I think he's only in his 60s. He's 71. Okay, so I was right. Originally. Oh, yeah, he is like so old. old. Right. It's just the first Dude. picture of him. They had a thing about uh, uh, Mel Brooks giving his, his feelings on um, Carl Reiner dying. Yeah. Dude, Mel Brooks is ancient. Isn't he in his 90s? He's 94. Yeah. He's at his birthday. I mean, that dude is Methuselah. I forget how old he is. You, like, you realize like he was in his 60s when they were doing, you know, Blaze, or not Blazing Saddles, but uh, like Blazing Saddles, he was in his 50s. Uh, Spaceballs, he was in his 60s. I mean, Men in Tights, he would have been almost 70. Jeez. Truly the best of times. Mm. Online petition wants a statue of Christopher Columbus to be replaced with one of Chef Boyardee. Sure. Makes sense to me. I mean, he's better than Christopher Columbus. Uh, Chef Boyardee is pretty well regarded as a, a pretty decent dude. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure if we dug into it, we'd find out he was pretty racist, but like that's not like I'm not saying he was, but if he if he is, it's not unheard of given a dude of his time period. Yeah. That doesn't make it okay, but it explains. No, yeah, it. I'm not like giving it a pass. I'm just saying like at some point there's some amount of overt racism in everybody at a certain time period. Like somebody being what we would consider the the modern equivalent of of non racist would be unheard of in even like fifty years ago. Mm hmm. Nineteen seventy. I mean, think about like what. Just think about what racism was in nineteen seventy. That's fifty years ago. Oh God, I am so old. Well, I mean, I'm only a little bit younger than you, so that means I'm fucking old too. I mean, not that I was born in the seventies, just that the seventies right. was that long ago, though. Right. It makes you think back That's the line, go, we're, mm. we're now closer, like, what, 2050 is now closer to us than 1970 or something like that? Or no, we're equal distance. Mm. You know, equal distance from 2050 as we are set 1970. My tea has gone cold because I didn't put it on my little cup heater. You have failed! Failed! <laughs> They are also rebooting yet again the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Of course. Why with, not? With a um, 3D movie series. Sure. Because I guess they got They've tired of making TV shows. <laughs> I guess. 
I mean, I I enjoyed I enjoyed the live action like the last couple of live action movies. They weren't bad. They were what they were. <laughs> I mean, let's be dead honest. The original the original live action TMNT from 1990 is dark. Honestly, it deals. You know, considering people are like, oh, it's a kids film. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, isn't the comic much darker oh, than yeah. the, the uh, is, they're homicidal maniacs in the comic yeah I mean not literally but you know what I'm saying like murder is much more acceptable in the comics mm-hmm. when they uh, when they brought them to, to TV with car- the cartoons they really toned down the violence because you know like midstream 1980s Saturday morning cartoon. So when they did the te- when they did the first live action movie, it's a big it's a it's like the perfect amalgamation of the live action and the comics. Yeah. I haven't seen those in forever. I know. They kind of fell out of like the zeitgeist of societal consciousness. I got a message from someone. Oh boy. From hubby. Ah. Um. Adam Savage. Do you know who that is? Yeah, from okay. Mythbusters. Yeah, his sister is claiming that he raped her in the seventies. Um. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah, he's denying it, obviously, but. Holy crap. Adam Savage is old, but he's not that old. 1970s, he would have been... I don't know if he if she's older than him or if he's younger. Um, stay, Starting when she was just seven years old and he was nine, according to the lawsuit. That's... Wow. Yeah, the guy's only 52. So, that's, um, I'm gonna presume he's innocent until proven guilty with that one. That's, um. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading all the things he's apparently accused of. Um, it's not pretty. According to him, she is, for many years, she has relentlessly and falsely attacked him and other members of his family. I mean, right now, it's hearsay. But if any more of his family members come out, you know, it's going to start stacking up against her. I mean, that would... I mean, even his mother is coming to his aid. Right. For somebody to be doing it at that young of an age, that would allege that... So, my argument would be that that would be that somebody was sexually abusing him. Because I'm not saying somebody wouldn't do that, but that's... So she's claiming that she was eight and he was nine and he started raping her and did it until he was 12. That That's prepubescence for both of them, which means that's a behavior that somebody was committing on him before he was committing it on her. As his... I mean, not to throw stones, but has his father ever been caught? You I don't know. know. This, the article I'm reading only mentions the, his mother, so I don't know uh, right. what's going on with dad in the picture, if he was even in the picture. I mean, if if that's true, that's completely crazy. I I mean I'm not I'm not trying to discount what she's saying, but that's that's really egregious because that would he's he they were both prepubescent like that's not that has to be a learned behavior. So their mother is a psychotherapist. So he has he and his younger sister are the the children of of 
his parents' final marriage, as far as I can tell. But he has four siblings from their previous marriages, two older brothers, two older sisters. Mom's a psychotherapist. What the heck do I wonder? Well, I guess to move away from that, because I don't think we have much else to say on it. Right. What are your 4th of July plans? I have to work. Or cupcake. Yeah, good times. <laughs> I think Hubby has to work? I don't know, we're not doing anything, so... Apparently we're having some sort of thing at my aunt's house, but... We'll see if I have enough energy to go after work. Although I'll probably just get thrown out early. That's my... Because it's the holiday weekend and there probably won't be anything going on anyway. It keeps sliding down in my chair. <laughs> it's made of, um, pleather, so it, I'm just sliding right down. Oh, they're making a new Worms game. What's up? They're making a new Worms game. Oh, wow. Worms Rumble. It'll be a battle royale. Of course it will. That... Ooh, my box. Forgot about it. Oh, you have a box? I have a big Ow. box. Oh, a big box. Show me your big yourself. box. Yeah. Box, 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 box. Right. <laughs> Uh... What? What's the matter? Oh, wait a minute. I thought this was a filler. That's really strange. That's what that, that's what that was. That is what that was. This thing looked like a filler. They just packed it so tight. So we've got the quintess quintessent quintuplets. Ah yes. Boobs galore. So that's exciting. And mine doesn't have the black marks on it that everybody was complaining about, so that's cool. And the final part of Lupin the Third Part Two. Yay! So I have the entire thing. But only in Japanese, because they never dubbed it this far. That sucks.
Oh, you, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks heavy. That is heavy. Oh, holy shit. That's, Ooh. that's fucking gigantic. Jesus, that art. That is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Such a classic. He's he's holding up the Sailor Moon manga for their uh, right. Our listeners out there. Right. Well, that'll give you something to do. On top of the massive pile of anime you need to watch. Right. That's just crazy. And I guess I guess I heard they're coming out with a all color edition too. Yeah. God, the art is amazing. That's it's just ridiculous. And they got Sailor Mercury. Ooh. That's crazy. These things are humongous. I can't even believe it. I thought these were like half this size. So that was my box. Yay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the uh, 4th of July sale for Sentai. And I'll probably order a bunch of stuff. Not even really a bunch at this point, just a good amount. What did I do? Oh. What did I do with my mouse? I'm wondering what we're doing for dinner tonight, honestly. I would I'm imagine. That old and lame. It's like. Well, I mean, I worry about dinner too. But that's usually because I'm the one cooking it. Right. Well, my mom's nowhere to be found, and. If it's already 310, so if she's not making something, I'm ordering food. Because the last time this happened, she came down at like 7 o'clock. She's like, go get us some dinner. I'm like, why didn't you say something earlier? She's like, I didn't know. I'm like, god dang it. <laughs> what are you going to start watching after the Card Captain movie? Uh, probably the last season of Card Captors. Like, not Chris, uh, Clear Card, but the, the third season. Hmm. I really should just, like, keep working on stuff I haven't seen, because I, like, absorbed slime. I was, I, was re I was reincarnated as a slime. There is not a lot in the news that isn't just more COVID stuff. Right. It's just depressing because our country is the only one that isn't that isn't gonna zero out here. We're probably gonna end up with a crash society. It was amazing because like the the Asian countries were like wearing a mask, a standard procedure when you're sick. Like they were they were done basically zeroed out COVID like within the first three months of it happening. Yeah. You're talking about people are, like people are out like hanging around like in Japan and stuff and there's very little worry of it spreading because so few people have it at this point. Yeah, and then you have it here where people refuse to wear a mask because it's their they believe it's their constitutional right to not be you it's know my right as American to spread a plague. It's my right like to it? be a fuckhead. You can say hello to my forty five, I'll blow your fucking brains out. <laughs> Did you see the couple that pointed guns at peaceful Black Lives Matter protesters? Oh yes, the woman the woman who's the who's the ethics chair for the uh Missouri uh board or a uh, uh, bar. 
Yes. I don't care how conservative you are. I don't know that the that your state's bar is going to have a uh, is going to be amused by that. Let's just say. Mm hmm. Because of course you'll get the well. They're just as corrupt as anybody else. Yeah, I. My experience with the bar association has been really don't like that kind of shit. Mm. Yeah, no, I was. I remember watching looking at that, going like, "What the hell is their problem? No one's been like." like acknowledging them they're like there with the, the guy's there with his like his m16 like it's like dude calm the fuck down mm-hmm just mm, we're seeing the deep truth of a lot of different people these days right it, mm, still a lot of racism going on right and just outright stupidity it's just so I don't know. There's no this this as this is this like it, I, like it was like you know Wisconsin is right next to me and they're like they're like yep yeah, we're we're striking down the order everybody goes back to normal and they're just inundated with cases and they're like it's impossible no it's very possible you knew what you were. Oh yeah, and now we have to worry about swine flu again. Right. A new form of it. Not just swine flu, but a new strain that no one's ever had. So we'll be dealing with that on top of on top of COVID. Because everybody else will just be dealing with that. Because they're already done with COVID, basically. What a wonderful time to be alive. Yeah. Jokes on you will all be dead soon. When COVID goes airborne and wipes out the entire planet. Hmm. How much longer do we have to wait to vote? Four more months? Basically. My state's already been sending out the stuff like, Hey, uh, register for your absentee ballot so that you can get your vote in ahead of time. Mississippi is changing its flag. That's a good thing. Yeah, everybody's mad because they're going to a, a religious flag. They're like... I saw it any better. I'm like, no, it's it's better. It's a bit better. It's still really dumb. Right. Well, dumb and racist are two different things. And yet they have so much overlap. Right. <laughs> it's like you can be dumb without being racist and racist without being dumb. Yes. It's always really disappointing when you find out that somebody that, like, is very intelligent and well-spoken is, like, complete gobshit, mouth-breathing racist, or sexist, or whatever. And I quote J.K. Rowling's, like, how do you write, how do you write a series of books about a group of people that can literally change their appearance at will? And nobody thinks that it's a big deal. But you're transphobic. And I know the answer is they never explicitly say anything about changing gender, just the way they look. Yeah. Let's see what to talk about. I have no idea. Everything's so depressing and sad. Right. Oh, did you see the Sailor Moon wedding outfits? Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah. Especially the Luna one. Yeah. So pretty. Just ignites the girliness in me. Right. Like, ooh, gimme. I was really interested by the, they have the wedding gown that looks like her, you know, looter gown or whatever, but then they have the one that, like, you can either get in white or, like, with the red and blue overcoat or whatever, so it looks like her, kind of, like, like takes influence from her uh, school outfit. Yeah, it looks like a, a Sailor Fuku. Right. 
I am so looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. I think a lot of people are. I think a giant population of people are. Right. It's, it's very hyped. I, I don't have a computer that can run it, so I'll have to get it for the PS4. Right. I'll probably just have to upgrade my computer. Oh. At least I have more stuff to do in uh, Animal Crossing now that it's July. Ah, yes. There's like four new fish and then a shit ton of bugs. Yeah, the bugs are just like off the chart, but they're all like in the middle of the night. It's like 11 p.m. until 8 a.m. So the nights I can't sleep, I'll have something to do. Yeah, I was gonna say, right. you'll you'll have something to do then. <laughs> right. Instead of where you have difficulty getting the stuff during the day. Because you're at well, work. There's still some of those. But I have a whole month, so. Yeah. I never did actually do anything with, like, the... Um, the wedding thing. I was just like, eh, I just didn't care enough. I didn't either. I didn't want any of the items. Right. Like, the suit and stuff was cool, but I was like, ah, too much work. <laughs> There's enough people I know who are crazy enough to get the stuff, and it's like, hey, you should definitely send me one. Yeah, I'm not doing as much as I used to in Animal Crossing, but I'm still playing it at least once a day. Right. I'm getting to the point where probably when I get everything caught, I'm probably just gonna, like, stop until next month. Nothing wrong with so that. I've, I've kind of reached critical mass until they come out with some new stuff. Like the, uh, swimming update? Right, that's what I'm saying, when I have everything, like, collected or whatever from that. Mm-hmm. Probably stop, because the, the 11th, um, when Paper Mario comes out, so I'll probably be playing that instead. Oh yeah, I forgot well, about Paper Mario. Right. Yeah. I'm happy I got as far as I did. Like, the last game I think we only played for like a month and then I was honestly like, kind of like burnt out on it. This one I actually managed to go, what, two, three months? Mm-hmm. And it will hopefully keep having updates. Right. Not forever, obviously, that would be impossible. Right, probably but... just for the first year I'm betting. Yeah. Hubby's still enjoying all of his uh, gardening and stuff. Still trying to get right. a fucking blue rose. We got yellow, uh, not yellow, uh, green mums finally. Good, good. Have we run out of shit to talk about? Very possibly. Okay, you want to end it here? Sure. Was it not a lovely episode? Thank you once again for listening to the Super Happy Fun Jabatron Tea Party Podcast with Kiki and Cupcake. Save my fellow internet beings. Alright then, uh, what the fuck do I say? Goodbye, cupcake. <laughs> See ya, cakes.